guys, I'm in the training room with Ms. Buffy, the Golden Retriever, and today we're going to add a verbal cue, place, to the place command. So she's been going to the place bed for a few days now, out of necessity, to teach her how to relax and respect boundaries, which these place cots have because they are raised off the ground, compared to a bath mat or a soft dog bed. Very clear whether the dog is on or off. So we've been using this for a few days, just to reinforce her sit and her down. But now it's gonna become an actual command of its own. So place means when you hear that word and see me pointing my finger towards the bed, you should run over, get on, and lay down calmly, and then relax, good girl. Nice job. So what I'm gonna do is say the word and point and make it very clear with my body what I'm asking. We start pretty close. And if she gets on there right away and lays down, awesome, I'm gonna praise her calmly. You wanna be calm with praise on this one. But if she sits there and says, no thank you, or walks away, or goes halfway there and then turns around and walks away, pressure turns on, you go, we're working pretty low out of 10 until she gets on there. Let's try it. Buffy, good girl. Place, and I point, pressure turns on. Good girl. Nice job. She lays down automatically because we pattern down on the place bed. Down. I'm gonna ask for even more calmness from her. Double down. Good girl. So you can really see the chain there. When I said place and point you, she said, I don't feel like it. It's not a lack of understanding from her. She knows what place and a pointed finger, this very clear body language means. It means get on that bed and lay down. We've done a few reps of this, so she knows. What it is, is a lack of effort. She says, I don't feel like it. Doesn't want to do it. And that's fine because we have a way to hold our dogs accountable now. So pressure turns on. Because of her experience this past week, she knows how to turn the pressure off by simply following direction. And then praise happens. Good girl. Nice job. Good girl. Nice job. We'll let her sit here for a while, and then when she's really relaxed, down. And not just pretending to relax for my, for my benefit. I'll let her off, play with her for a while, cuddle, and then do it again. And I'm pretty sure in the next rep, she's gonna go right to that place by the lie down. Good girl. Cut! So a few minutes after we left her there, she did a big and truly relaxed. Now I'm gonna release her off. So, Buffy, break, break, yay! That's a good Nice job. Now she's free to play if she wants to. Get some comfort, which is probably what she wants to do. Yeah, she just wants some affection. And then we'll try again in a few minutes. Oh, good. Buffy, place. Go. Nice job. Isn't it funny how this time I didn't touch the remote at all? All I had to do, I mean, I'm even farther away this time, too. All I had to do was say place and point, and she said, gotcha. Because she knows, and if she doesn't just go straight up on there, I'm going to make sure that she does get on there. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give in. I'm going to stay very consistent. And now, some panting, I'm going to ask her to calm down a little bit more. Shh. So, shh. Nice job. Teach her to stop the panting and breathe through her nose. It's going to cause her to self regulate and actually become better at being calm on command. Good girl. Look at that girl. 